Welcome to Henderson Today. I'm Elizabeth Lau. And I'm Rebecca Teal. Here's your ready news. A recent study done by Lind EDU says that almost 50% of their students believe they will have college loan forgiveness. With the average debt of a 2016 graduate at over $37,000, this is a big deal because most students will not get their loan forgiven. The only way students can get loan forgiveness is to either enter public service, teach in underprivileged schools, die, or become permanently disabled. According to the Department of Education, with this in mind, students should think about how much of a loan they need to take out, rather than how much money they can get and keep. Citizens of Earth will soon be on their way back to the moon. Elon Musk, CEO of the space exploration company SpaceX, announced that they will be sending two private citizens into space for a moon flyby. The mission will consist of a long loop around the moon in which the ship will continue to travel into deep space before heading back to Earth. Though the two citizens are remaining anonymous for now, a large down payment has been placed for the trip that in total has been estimated to be between $500 million and $1.3 billion. The mission is planned to launch from the same launch pad as the Apollo 11 mission in mid to late 2018. The Henderson State women's basketball team had a devastating finish to the regular season, losing to Swasu 80-69. The Reddies finished with a GAC record of 8-14. Unfortunately, the Reddies did not make the cut for the conference tournament. The men's basketball team beat Swasu 97-91, which locked HSU into the conference tournament as the 8th seed. The Reddies finished its regular season with a record of 11-11. HSU will take on the number one seed, East Central, on Thursday, March 2nd at 8 p.m. in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Here is Liz with the news. Henderson State University, among other Arkansas universities, proposed a bill that would allow faculty members, staff, and anyone over the age of 25 with a concealed carry permit to carry guns onto campus. But not everyone on campus agrees. Campus is not a place where you should have the expectation of, of, of needing one. And I don't think it's a place where if the kind of scenario arose, which people who want guns on campus feel could arise and that there would be benefit to having it, I don't, I don't think they're right. I don't think that it would be of benefit. <laughs> In addition, some parents of students have their own opinions. I don't see any negatives about it. If somebody is licensed and skilled in the in the uh, use of a gun, I think it's a great thing, and we ought to think about it and support it. Even though faculty and locals may disagree on the issue, one question remains. Are students the most affected by this bill? I can kind of see both sides. I understand why people wouldn't want you to carry it to feel safe. And then I understand why someone might want to carry it to also feel safe. But at the same time, people go through their everyday lives and they go, they experience people carrying guns and probably don't even realize it. It creates of particular situations, much escalated situations. So because the university campuses are supposed to be places for the free exchange of ideas, and because that can also, in, often or sometimes involve contentious issues, arguments, debate. I don't see the benefit of introducing anything to make that a potentially more dangerous situation. For HTV, this is Elizabeth Lau. The 2017 Academy Awards aired on ABC Sunday, February 26th. Jimmy Kimmel hosted the ceremony the winners of the night included Viola Davis for Supporting Actress, Mahershala Ali for Supporting Actor, Emma Stone for Best Actress, Casey Affleck for Best Actor, and O.J. Made in America for Best Documentary. The winner for Best Picture came with the much confusion between films Moonlight and La La Land, but Moonlight ended up taking home the biggest award of the night. Back to the desk. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Rebecca Teal. And I'm Elizabeth Lau. Stay tuned for Follow the Leader with Rainey Perry Johnson.